and I do hereby declare that the said Dan Jarvis is duly elected. Tonight, the voters of Barnsley have decided to give me and the Liberal Democrats a kicking. You could say that for the people of Barnsley, little has changed. It's been Labour since 1935, and it's Labour again today. But after a low turnout, it could be argued that many of the people here will know, and even fewer will care, exactly what this by-election result could mean to the Liberal Democrats and to Nick Clegg. This seat was always unwinnable, but the Deputy Prime Minister was left having to put a gloss on a huge defeat. I've no doubt that people will try and uh, use this single result to write off the Liberal Democrats. They've done it in the past and we proved them wrong and we will prove them wrong again. Grassroot Liberals do exist in Barnsley, there just aren't many of them, but they are keeping the faith. Obviously the by-elections just happened and that's what it's all about. But the fact that two-thirds of the people, Helen, did not vote last night has got to be the thing that we're thinking about. Whilst, yes, um, I'm very unhappy about what happened yesterday, I am much more optimistic about the long term. Hello, Ed Miliband. Nice to meet you, Dan Jarvis, the new member of Parliament. For Labour's new leader and his new MP, there is clearly political capital to be had from being in opposition in difficult times, a luxury no longer afforded Nick Clegg. They don't like the fact that he is part of a Conservative-led government that is betraying the hopes of the next generation of people in this country. The humbling defeat the electorate here have handed the Lib Dems will be one the party cannot afford to repeat in local elections in May. If that scale of collapse is repeated, then the Lib Dems could lose hundreds of councillors. These are the people, these are the foot soldiers of this party, and if they lose their seats, then all kinds of recriminations against the leadership at Westminster, about Lib Dems in the Cabinet, all that kind of conversation will take place in earnest after those May elections. Like many in the North, the people of Barnsley feel they've been unfairly targeted by the Coalition's swinging cuts. For Nick Clegg's Lib Dems, the strength of that feeling has been made all too apparent. Fraser Maud, Sky News, Barnsley.